Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back with Let's Play The Legend of Dragoon on the PlayStation Network. Last time, we finished up the ghost ship, and then ended up in the town of Flano, where Rose had a flashback to the dragon campaign, and we found out that she looks pretty damn good for being roughly 11,000 years old. I mean, she's aged pretty well in my opinion. But, enough of that. Uh, we have exploring in this town to do. There's a whole, like, two things to get for the time being. And after that, we can make our way out of here. So, let's take this little canoe right here. And let's see, we can either go to the Ocean Terrace and talk to those guys. Uh, they don't say a whole lot, actually. They just talk about um, how they can't work, so they're gambling instead. Nothing of importance, so I'm just going to ignore them. And let's just go to the pier, since that's where the two items that we need to get are in the vicinity of. In this building right here, there's a save point if you need to save. Uh, but don't enter in the front door for right now, just enter up here. And come on into this ladder right here. Yeah, everyone around the town pretty much just says the same thing. is They can't get any work done because of the uh, water dragon attacking them and stuff like that. So, Or sea, sea dragon or some kind of dragon. Some kind of aquatic dragon. So yeah, so they all say the same thing. If you talk to that lady right there by going in the main door, she talks forever and ever about uh, about needing to go to the clinic in, in the next town, but she can't do anything about it, so don't talk to her unless you want to spend like 45 seconds mashing the X button to get her to shut up. But anyways, uh, we came in here to check this treasure, uh, this uh, chest right here. And we get ourselves a Stardust. Not too shabby. And then the other thing we can get in this town is that little treasure chest right there. And that's pretty much it. Uh, there's pretty much nothing in there except the lady complains about her house being tilted to the side. And that's about it. So, not a whole lot to do in this town, like, at all. Got a healing potion. I think we have a lot of healing items, actually. Let's see, how many do we have? We have... Yeah, we have a, we have a few. Ah, well. Anyway, so let's just head on out. And Mr. PD decides to call us. Depending on how long this episode turns out, by the time I get to a certain point, I might make this uh, another hour episode, just so we can get a certain uh, milestone out of the way. If not, then we'll just do it next time. So your mom can be healed? Is that, is that what you're talking about? Yeah, we'll take you, kid. Come on, let's go. Yeah, she is sick, and uh, she does need some medical attention, so it's probably a good idea to get her there. Well, you're very straightforward, Rose. <laughs> you're just all, whoa, she's crazy. Ah, uh, Rose would look so much better if her pants were the same length, but, oh well. And anyways, that's enough of that, so, that's all we can do in the little town of, uh, I was calling it Flano, I was calling it Flano, wasn't I? It's the town of the Deria, so, I don't know why I was calling it Flano, that's the next town we're going to. But, yeah, this is going here, Undersea Cavern. For the time being, I don't think there's too many random encounters in here. There will be the next time we go through, because we're going to have to go through it another time. But for right now, I don't think there's a whole lot. I mean, you can get into them, but most of them are going to be later. Well, it's a good thing we don't got to swim.
Okay, so I guess we do have a random battle. But we're going to end up showing off all the monsters in here eventually, so I might as well start now, I guess. For the time being, though, we only have Rose and Dart, so... Oh, well. And here's the first little turd. I believe these are sea piranhas, I think. Let's find out. Yep, sea piranhas. Uh, let's see, water element, uh, 280 HP. They have a chance to drop a spear frost item. They have two water-based magic attacks, one that hits one ally and one that hits all allies. So nothing, nothing too bad to worry about. Except for me not hitting my additions. Other than that, they're chumps. One of these days I might be able to get that damn thing down, but without the ultimate war god, but today's not that day. And honestly, once you level up your dragoon form, it's not really all that useful in my opinion, because your dragoon form is leveled up and you don't need to have super high SP unless you're trying to get into drag dragoon form. And honestly, Crush Dance does just as good of just as good of amount of SP and more damage. So I don't know, I just prefer Crush Dance. This is my personal opinion on the matter. Okay, I need to find a better camera angle here. Yeah, that'd probably be a good one right there. Alright, and here's what I kept on talking about earlier, the city of Fueno. But another random battle? Sure, why not? And this chick right here, I uh, do believe this is the mermaid. Yep, mermaid. Okay, 400 HP, she has a chance to drop a spirit potion, so not too shabby, so... If you have someone that's kind of behind on S, uh, Dragoon levels, or you just need them fast in battle, give it to them, they'll be good. Um, she has a... She has a magic attack that has a 50% chance to dispirit or bewitch an ally. Um, she occasionally uh, charges up and then does a heavy attack afterwards, and that's pretty much it. Nothing too special. And... For some reason, that felt like it went really slow. Now we're gonna try that again. Yeah, here's our all out attack, which does a pretty good chunk of damage. Okay, why am I failing at hitting her additions today? I don't know. It's just what I do. But anyways, as I said... Here's Fueno. That's where we need to go. Fueno is bueno. That's really not that all, not all that far of a walk from Lidaria. I'm pretty sure Pete and his mom could have mustered up some courage and got there just by running really fast. <laughs> nah, we're just friends with benefits. I didn't see if maybe, maybe if you pay me, I, would, I didn't see anything. Oh, 
That's right, kick his ass, Rose. Kick his ass. Ah, right, we're gonna meet up with our party members eventually, but you know what? Let's check out the shops first. You got anything useful here, pal? Yeah. Most of the same stuff, pretty much. Um, if you wanted to, you could grab a, a couple gushing magmas. Um, but I'm not going to bother with them. If you, I mean, they could help with an upcoming uh, couple fights, since most of the uh, most of the enemies are water types. But yeah, I like how this guy he just moves back and forth in between the shops, so he does a little bit of everything. Okay, I don't get why you can't just sell it all at the one stand instead of making me walk two places, but... Okay. Let's see, we got a nice little upgrade for Dart. Falchion. But the Heat Blade, um... We'll equip that after this area, since like I said, most of the enemies are water-based. So it's just nice to have it. Uh, let's see, Shauna... I'm not sure if we have that. Um... Plate Mail... No, we already have that. We get one of those for you, I guess. I don't remember if we have the bemusing area, bemusing arrow, or the morning star. Um, Albert's good with his uh, with his plate that he has because that has better magic defense, anyways. Um, I don't remember if Shauna has that, or I, I don't remember. I don't remember if Shauna or Meru has that, but if we'll find out eventually. How you doing, lady? Town of Relaxation and Commerce. That's a kind of an odd mix, but okay. Here's those legendary hot springs we're talking about. Wait, so you don't care about me seeing you naked down there? You care about me getting my armor wet? If you insist. Wait, is this the same, uh... Does this door go to the same place? Unless that's a different hot spring over there. Okay, it is a different hot spring. Okay. They just look exactly the same. Oh, that must be a shame. You can't go out to sea, so instead you sit in the bath all day. There you go. Yeah, that's one way to earn a living, I guess. By the way, the hotel over there, that's where we're going to meet up with all our party members. But we'll go there in just a minute. I want to go in here real quick. Let's see, I do believe the clinic is up here. Oh, this is the hotel, never mind. Uh, I, was thinking the, I was thinking the inn is where we met our party members, but I guess we meet them all here. Oh, well. I'm not trying to steal anything, buddy. But if you check over here, there's a stardust. Yay. Um, I don't think there's any items hidden up there, so. Plus, you can't get up there anyway, so. Ah, well. See, now we just gotta find one more area around here. And then we can go to the hotel, or the inn. I don't get why there's a hotel that you can't use and an inn that you can use, but... Okay. Well, that sucks. Queen Fury. Maybe our party members are over there? Actually, I don't remember if they're on the Queen Fury or in the inn. I think they're in the inn, but I'm not sure... 
Nope, they're probably all over here. Never mind. We're ghosts. Oh, she's worried about us. Shucks. Okay, so they are all in the end. I was right the first time. Oh well. So I forgot. It happens. Oh, nice bumping into you, Meru. Well, of course we're alive. We're dragoons. We're not gonna drown. Well, I might drown because I'm fire elemental, but pretty sure Rose would be okay. Maru, you sure are hyper. Okay, this this must be the clinic then, I think. Um, for some reason I was thinking it was the hotel or the inn or something, but... Okay, I think the clinic might be up here. We need to go to, we need to, go to the clinic real quick. There we go. Uh, let's see, where is the... I think it might be downstairs, actually. Ah, here we go. I'm a big fan of this, of this work right here, the Stardust. How you guys doing in here? Oh, poor baby's got a stomach ache. Ten eggs? I need more ten eggs. Well, not all at once, but... Yeah, I think I'll be good. What do you got, like cancer? It's probably also very comfortable too. I know where they are, don't worry. I don't think I've done any fighting in front of you, really, except for maybe that one monster in the cave. So I don't know how you know I'm a really great swordsman. Let's see, okay. Alright, now I think if we go back to the hotel, then we can get, uh, get our party members back, so I guess we might as well take care of that. There appears to be a trap. Oh, she got me. Oh, I was hoping they'd ask me to tell who it was again, but I guess not. I was going to say it was Congo this time. You die impossible. Well, everybody except for Shauna, you know. How come everyone else comes down to see me, but not her? Do you think she'd be the first one to come down to see me? She's always been relatively calm. I mean, she might be kind of cold and calculating, but she's never been one to jump to conclusions, really. 
Maru, on the other hand, she could stand a couple of Ritalin. See, is she in here? Or is she in the next one? Eh, she's in the next one. Alright. Here we go. Let's talk to Shona, and then we can finally be out of here. Why you didn't come down and see me earlier? You're mean. I think it's Maru and Hashel out there. Albert? What's Albert checking around here for? Okay, I get I get Hashel and Maru. But Albert's a king, he shouldn't be eavesdropping. Do you honestly expect that we would drown? I mean, seriously? Yeah, I guess we gotta go catch up to her. We had to share a sleeping bag naked to stay warm, if that's what you're talking about. But other than that, no. <laughs> gotta love that shell. You gotta love him. Alright, we finally got all our party members back. Um, let's see, for the area coming up, uh, let's see, try to decide. Let's go with, I think I'm going to keep Rose in there. And then I'm going to have, let's see, Congo, you're fine for right now. Maru, you're fine for right now. I might use Maru a little bit later. Um... But for right now, actually, I think I'll stick with, I think I'll stick with Albert for right now, just so I can work on his Dragoon level and his uh, Rod Typhoon, so we can finally get to Gust of Wind Dance, and that should be good for right now. I'm not sure if we can use the hotel yet. We might be able to. Actually, you know what? I got more than enough healing items. I can get a couple of those out of the way. And what do you know? One is all I needed. Eh, screw it. We'll go to the inn anyways, just for the heck of it. 50 gold? Here, rip off. Alright. We're done. 
Let's go make sure that we have all the correct equipment and stuff, and then we can get out of here and get to the good stuff. Alright buddy, let me see if I got everything here for these guys. And if not, then oh well. Let's see, we got your falchion. Oh, we definitely need the bemusing arrow. Bemusing arrow. Then again, I do have the light uh, arrow equipped on her right now, so that's why her damage is kind of low. Let's see, morning star, we can get that from Maru. Fantastic. Uh, plate mail. Like I said, we don't want to lower Albert's magical defense since it's already not all that great. But he appears to have a higher magic defense than, than Dart, which is odd. Or a natural, higher natural magic de magic defense, but... Oh well. See, Sparkle Dress, we got that for you. You got that already. And Maru, I guess you can have that too. See, as for Night Helm... Oh, that's why he has a higher magic defense, because he has the... Whatever... Whatever helm he has on. Okay, gotcha. You know what? Yeah, let's get this anyways, just so he has a little bit more... Regular defense. That way he's a bit more balanced. Alright. Sounds good. And now in order to progress with the plot, in order to get out of here, we gotta talk to this guy right here. Drippy, the town drunk, I do believe. You saw a dragon on the prison island. house was taken by monsters and you need a drink wait the sea dragon's been around for half of a year and we're just now hearing about this thing then again I guess we haven't been in the area so that is true actually I'm gonna take a while to guess and say those may or may not be connected and Drippy, you were doing all sorts of funky moves down there. But anyways, that's all we need to do around here. So uh, we actually have to head back to Ladiria first. I mean, we have to go through the underwater cave, but we actually have to make it back to Ladiria before we can actually progress in the undersea cavern area place thing, whatever. And here we got another special monster. This guy. This guy is, I do believe, known as the Magic Pot. Let me get to let me get to him real quick. Uh, let's see, where are you at, buddy? Um, hang on just a moment. Ah, here he is. Uh, let's see. The treasure jar, uh, no element. Um, he's five HP. He drops a ruby ring, which I do believe sells for a good chunk of damage, or a good chunk of money. Um, as you can see there, he did the uh, magical barrier attack, and even when he doesn't have that magical barrier, he was still going to take pretty much one HP damage from pretty much anything. He evades. I think he runs away, and he has an attack that he fears an enemy. So, I mean, we can try attacking him physically, but again, I think he's just going to evade it, so... Or taking one damage from it. Or no damage from it. So, you know what? Why don't we put one of our Satchets to use? Since we have two of them, I do believe. And that didn't work, which is odd. It's supposed to work. Um, that's odd. I'm not sure why it didn't work. Usually that's supposed to work, so I don't know what happened. I don't think he's. I don't think he should be immune to it with the magic barrier up.
Maybe he is immune to it with the magic barrier up. I don't know. That's very odd. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to use statute on this guy to kill him. I'm confused, because... Huh, that's odd. Anyways, if you kill him, you get the ruby ring, which sells for a good chunk of money. And there you go. And if you don't kill him, then he runs away. He's a little bastard. Yeah, we still can't get through there yet, but we'll get there in a little bit. So for now, just head back to um, Tiberoa. Or Lidiera, or whatever the heck this damn place is called. Alright. Now, those old guys playing cards on the uh, terrace over there, now we want to go talk to those guys. If you take the boat from Pete's house, it does the weirdest path to get there. It acts like it's going to the pier, so it goes to the right, and then it makes like a sharp right turn and zigzags down there. It's the weirdest path. I don't know why it does that. But anyways, uh, talk to this guy, the mayor. Ah, the mayor's cleaning out his peasants. I see how it is. Yeah, pretty much. We're all suicidal here. Or maybe not then. Fine. Don't listen to me. Yeah, it's for shits and, shits, shits and giggles, you know? Danger attracts me. There we go. Oh, why not? Fine, let's try this again. Danger is my middle name. Eh, fine, I guess. I guess it's all business then. And by see, we mean kill. Yeah, that is pretty, pretty good trick of yours if you can control the whole tide. Ah, he closed the, like a sluice gate or something like that. Gotcha. That makes sense.
Oh, here's a fun job. Just hanging out on that thing and riding it down to open up the gate. I wouldn't mind having an easy job like that. I wouldn't mind living in like a little seaside village like this, just learning how to fish and living off the ocean and stuff like that. It'd be pretty cool. Probably wouldn't have any internet or anything like that, but I think I'd get used to it after a little bit. Anyways, uh, let's go to Pete's house real quick. Well, we have to go there to get off anyways. But I want to show you the weird path it takes just to get down to the, the terrace right there. Instead of just like turning around and going straight there, it actually is going to the pier and then it makes a weird ass path. I mean, I don't get that. Why can't it just go straight to the, the terrace from Pete's house? I mean, like it does from the... See here it just goes straight over there, but to get to the terrace it decides, hey, we're going to go the long way. I don't know, just weird to me. But anyways, back up to this cave right here, which was previously closed off. We got a healing ring, fantastic. And a healing fog, also fantastic. And now we can finally make our way through the uh, through the undersea cavern and take our way to the prison island. I think there. I think you can actually run into battles here if you wanted to. Hence the little. Or maybe you can't. I don't know. I, I've never actually tried to, but I've always thought you could because of the little blue arrow. I'm not sure if you can get him to open the gate again, actually. But let me see if you can, because if you don't get those two treasure chests while you're in there, I'm not sure if you can get them after exiting it. Not that they're anything great, just healing items, but... Nope, I guess not. So if you didn't get them, then you're S SOL out of a whole healing rain and healing fog, which admittedly are pretty good healing items. But, forget that, let's head over back to the undersea cavern. Um, still not sure if I'm going to be able to make it to where I want to this episode. I mean, I don't like making the episodes too long, because then they're, you know, too long, but like 35, 40 minutes, 45 minutes, that's fine, but when it starts getting over to the hour mark, that's a, a little more than is comfortable. So we've got an attack ball, which generates a random attack item. Over here, I do believe we get the jeweled crown. Very nice, which is a nice little equipment for a female member. So let's see. Let's see for... Yeah, it just gives you uh, magic uh, SP when you're attacked magically, so it's not too bad, and it gives a decent and it gives a decent boost to your to your magic attack and defense. Eh, let's see. I think I'm gonna give it to. Let's see who has the highest defense out of you guys? You. And apparently you can't use it, so. Um... Now I'll give it to someone later. Screw it. See, so I think if we go over... Yeah, we have to go this way, actually. We have to go this way. Uh, let's see. And we got two more of the new enemies in here. And then we only have one more after this. Okay, these guys, the Glare and the Screw Shell, as you can see, they're both water elemental. Uh, the, let's see, the Glare, 320 HP. He has a chance to drop a Mind Purifier after battle. He occasionally evades your attacks. Um, 
and he has a magic attack that has a 50% chance to bewitch one of your allies. So watch out for that. And then for the screw shell, he has he's actually has 160 HP. Um, he has a chance to drop a healing potion after battle. He occasionally puts up a physical attack barrier, and he also can heal himself for roughly 50 HP. So he can be kind of a pain in the ass every once in a while. You know what? Let's use one of those uh, attack balls just to see what we get out of it. Ooh, a poison needle, I think. So now he's poisoned. Very nice. Very odd, but okay, it works. And there's that physical attack barrier. Alright, let's see if we can't get one of these little bastards out of the way. Meaning you. And that was not the camera angle that I was hoping for. We're actually going to get a very, fairly good amount of items in here, so if you want to use a, a couple of your extra items just to make inventory space, it's not a bad idea. We're going to get, let's see, we're going to get like seven or eight items in here, so, eh. That's why, that's why I wanted to use the attack item instead of uh, just holding on to it for later. Look at that, 90 SP. Not too shabby at all. See, how am I hitting Rod Typhoon every hit, but as soon as uh, Hard Blade comes up, I miss it. Then again, I've never been, I've never used Rose too much anyways. I mean, she's okay, but I've just never used her all that much. Mainly because she doesn't have very good Dragoon magic. Except for like her final spell and her first spell a little bit. Most of her Dragoon magic just isn't all that good, in my opinion. They're too weak. They're all 25% except for the last one. And the third one, which uh, has a chance to uh, kill all the enemies, it either doesn't hit and doesn't do any damage, or it doesn't hit and doesn't do any damage. So, yeah. Okay, let's over. Let me see, which way do we gotta go to get out of here? We go... Alright, let's go over here, and we can get ourselves an item. All of that for a recovery ball, so, yay. Alright, we're actually going to try to hit Rose's attacks this time instead of, you know, missing them all. We're off to a great start, I can see. You know, most mermaids that I've seen don't usually have the uh, whole fins for arms thing that she's got going on. I mean, I can understand the fins for tail, but I don't think I've seen the fins for arms. Ow. Why do you insist on hurting me like that? Rod 
I think I'm gonna start cutting out the rest of the random battles until we get to that last enemy we need to. Gushing Magma, that could be useful in here since most of the enemies are water elemental. And after that last battle, Albert finally decided he wanted to catch up with the rest of the crew by leveling up and, you know, getting more Dragoon magics and stuff. See, I think we gotta go down there to the right to get where we need to go, so... See what's over here. I think there's a couple items. There we go. Can't carry any more items, so yeah. We have a lot of items. Let's use a couple of those. I wonder if... Uh, I was going to say, I wonder if we could use that. Dang, we got a lot of Sun Rhapsodies, don't we? And Moon Serenades, too. Uh, yeah, we have too many potions. There we go. Much better. And recovery ball. So yay. Alright, now let's head on down over to the area down here. If we can get down here. There we go. Burnout, more usefulness for the enemies in here. Attack ball. Got several of those. Actually, no, that's our second one. Or we already used one of them, though. Let's see, let's try to get this enemy out of the way real quick. So hopefully, this is somebody useful. Alright, that wasn't the enemy I'm looking for. And you know what? Screw it. Um, I'm just going to tell you about them. If you find them, yay for you. If not, then too bad. You don't got to worry about them. Uh, the guy that we didn't encounter, he was known as the Flabby Troll. He's Earth Elemental with 560 HP. He has a very low chance to drop a Knight's Shield. Um, and he has an attack that can fear all of your allies. So, yeah. He's mildly annoying, but more irritating than anything. And if you get those Knight Shields, good for you because you get some more defense. But... We can't find them, and we got other, other things to do, like a boss battle. So at the save point, we want to heal ourselves up. Let's see, healing fog. Yeah, no, we'll use uh, we'll use breezes. We got like five of those things, or four of them, I guess. There we go. Let's see. Now, as for actually who I'm going to use in the the fight, I think I'm going to keep Albert in there, so he's going to be fine. But I'm doing horrible at hitting Rose's additions, so I think I'm going to put... Yeah. Actually, you know what? Let's put Maru for Rose, and... Yeah, that should do it. Albert and Maru, that should do it. Probably not the best party, but it'll still work out well enough. And it looks like we did get to where I wanted to be, so this will be a slightly longer episode. I'd say the I'd say the end reward is worth it though. 
and let's head on in for a boss battle, shall we? Hey, look who it is! It's Lloyd and Linus. Wait, so... It wasn't your idea to try to murder us? It was actually Lloyd's? It's kind of odd, but... Oh, you're trying to start a war? Why is everyone always trying to start wars? I don't get it. Sounds kinky. Planned by God? Isn't that, isn't that, uh, what's the word, um, I forget what it's called, but it's when you, it's when you're making stuff up and it sounds too good to be true, uh, I can't remember the damn term for it right now, but yeah, what he said, you're talking crap, but that's not what I was thinking of. burn my city to the ground? I thought it was a black monster. Actually, no, 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 never mind. No, never mind. He was the one that uh, had the orders to give the city burned to the ground. The black monster burned down Dart's home in the beginning. Okay, never mind. For some reason I thought he was saying he burned down our town in the beginning. When, Bart, when Dart was like uh, two years old or whatever. But never mind. I, I get what he's saying. And why is that? Holy crap, she's a dragoon. Wait a second. So that sea dragon that everyone's talking about, she's in cahoots with it? Yikes, this might not go over so well for us. Anyways, our two bosses is Dragoon Linus and her sea dragon, Regole. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. Again, he looks more like a praying mantis snake thingy than a dragon, but anyways. Um, let's see, Regole, he has 4,000 HP. Uh, he drops a frozen jet after battle, which is a, uh, ice, a water elemental attack. Um, he has a regular physical attack. He has a uh, water-based magic attack that hits all your allies, and he has a light-based magic attack that hits all your allies. So, yeah, kind of a pain in the testicle there. And as for Linus, she's also a water elemental. Um, she has a 50% chance to drop a jeweled crown, so if you if you want a second one of those, go ahead and uh, farm her. I probably will. Um, she has that boomerang cross that she had in the first, uh, the first battle. Um, she has a she has two water attacks that hit all two water magic attacks that hit all your allies. So 
a little bit more of a pain in the ass than she was before. So yeah, um, let's start with you know what? Let's start with Albert putting on a uh, a rose storm, and then he can go ahead and just attack for a little bit. And you know what? We can check out his new magic attack too, I guess. Yeah, let's do that. Let's see, we'll start with the the Rose Storm. You know what, now that I'm thinking about it, I probably should have had uh, Shauna instead of Meru. That way I could do the Dragoon special with Dart. And that way he'd do more damage and he'd take less damage from her. But I wasn't really thinking, was I? Ah, well. Actually, this fight is actually a little easier than the previous fight. Uh, for the most part, like, I've always had less trouble on this fight than that fight. For some reason, she always managed to not kill me anywhere near as hard this time. I don't know why, but it's just what she does. Let's see, Maru, let's use your magical powers to... By the way, if you do use, like, a burnout or something with Maru, who's water elemental, um, it's gonna do less damage, even against a water enemy, just because she gets less of a modifier for using the the uh, the element that's opposite to her. So you know what? Let's use a let's use a dark mist. See how that does. And I think Rigole is the biggest pain in the butt here. So let's get him out of the way. Six hundred damage. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Now let's see, Ro or Dart, and I totally forgot to switch his addition back to fucking Crush Dance like I was planning to. Oh well. But anyways, let's um, give uh, Mr. Albert some MP, that way he has enough to use his Wind Magic Attack next turn. Yeah, this is a Tsunami Attack that he does, I think. So this is going to hurt Dart by quite a few points. Luckily, we have the Rose Storm up. I was going to do Gaspless first just to show it off, but it's a good thing I put that up first. Because this is going to hurt like a son of a bitch. Even with Rose Storm. Oh, well, never mind. It didn't hurt that much. We did, we did good. We did good. Alright, Maru. Let's get you some more uh, attack items. You know what? Let's use one of those uh, attack balls and see what we can get out of it. Ice needles? Seriously? On the one hand, it's going to do more damage since Maru is water elemental, but on the other hand, so is Regole, so that doesn't really work out all that well. And let's see, 100, 100 strength wind elemental, so let's see how much damage this does against Mr. Regole himself. I'll be quiet for this because it is a cool looking attack. Almost 700 damage. That's not too shabby, actually. That's pretty damn good. Let's see. Dart. Um, trying to decide if I want to use up that. Yeah, let's get these out of the way real quick. And then we'll go Dragoon form for Darty. This will do a pretty good chunk of damage since Dart does have a uh, pretty... Eh, didn't do that much, but it did enough. Yeah, this is the one that she calls Aqua Imprisonment. In imprisonment. Oh, and uh, remember how last uh, the last episode I kept I kept saying, "What the heck is that green twenty that appears?" Um, 
that's the SP that they're gaining from the magical attacks uh, that they're sustaining. But that, I mean, it took me forever to figure that out for some reason, but yeah, that's what it, that's what's, what's going on there. Um, let's see. You know, let's see just how much uh, she does with a with the opposite element magic attack item. It's still going to do a decent chunk of damage since she does have a high magic attack, but let's just see how much it does. Oh wow, that did more than enough. Okay, so that helps. And I believe this is his light elemental attack, which is called Pulse Burst. Let's see, Albert. Yeah, let's go for a. See if we can't get a perfect Dragoon edition off here. Yeah, close enough. And Regoli taken care of. So now we just gotta kill off the the Wingly Dragoon, which is a odd combo since weren't the Dragoons fighting against the Winglies in the war? I mean, that's what I always thought, but maybe I was wrong. Uh, let's see, what can we get for you here? We got... Let's go for a... Yeah, let's go for a Dark Elemental Attack, shall we? That is one of the cooler looking attacks in the game, in my opinion. I like the way it looks. But anyways, now let's go for Dart's Dragoon form. Which will have the added benefit of doing more damage to her. And taking a little less since she does have the extra Dragoon damage modifier. So yeah, these guys aren't really all that tough. I mean, for some reason I usually have trouble on the first version of her. And then this fight, I don't have very much trouble, like, at all, usually, for some reason. So, I don't know why, it's just the way it works out, I guess. Let's see how much damage you do, buddy. Let's see how much. 522. Mar Maru did more than that with the with an attack item. Ah well. All right. Let's see. Yeah, I guess we can use a little bit of healing. Besides, I want to see what we can get out of this uh, healing item. Um, yeah, go ahead and give it to Dart. He has the least amount of HP right there. Looks like he gave me a healing potion instead of anything actually useful, but oh well. Uh, another final burst. She's still got a pretty damn good chunk of HP left. And again, we did pretty much burst down Regoli instead of do combos on him, so that does help, I guess. We've done, like, no additions the entire fight, have we? I mean, we did one with Albert, but then we missed the last hit, so... Yeah, we're doing, like, not a lot of additions here. Like, at all. Ah, well. We're still taking her out nice and easy. Alright, here's her other magic attack. This is, uh, the Underwater Dance. I'm not sure if one's stronger than the other or not. I mean, this one's obviously gonna do more damage, because I think our, uh, Rose Storm has worn off by now. I don't, no, I'm not sure if one is stronger than the other, but it seems to be doing roughly the same amount. Uh, let's see, let's use another one of those uh, recovery balls. This time on you, Ally. Albert. I don't know why I said Ally, but oh well. Seriously, you gave me SP. You son of a testicle. Let's see, let's use that healing fog. 
There we go. Much better. And she gets more heavy on the magic after she gets a little lower on health. And unlike us, she does, she's not limited to only having maximum 100 MP. She has as much MP as it takes to kill our asses. Little bastard. Uh, you know what, let's just go for a Dragoon Edition and hope we can get a perfect. Not even close. Yeah, see this is why you wanted to keep the Heat Blade equipped, is because uh, pretty much every enemy in there is Water Elemental and so is the boss. So it's a good idea just to uh, pop up a Rose Storm real quick. Wait, do I even have MP left? I think I do, okay good, I think I do. And if not, then oh well. Well, I got plenty of MP. Okay. Good, good. Rose Storm. You know, the part where he envelops himself in a green bubble kind of looks like a uh, Ferrars Wind from Ocarina of Time. I mean, not the not the whole attack animation, just the little part where he's in the green bubble. Because the Ferrars Wind from Ocarina of Time it was also a green bubble thingy. So, just kind of similar. Not a whole lot, but enough to make the connection, I guess. Uh, let's see, we got a... Ooh. Um, yeah, sure, let's use a downburst on her and see how well it does. Maru's doing a lot of damage with her magic attacks. I mean, her magic is supposed to be lower than Shauna's, but every time I've used the magic item with her, she does more damage than Shauna. Well, except for there. And you get another turn already? Fantastic. Let's see what else we got. We got a Earth Elemental attack. We can do that, I guess. Uh, the reason why that one was low is because it didn't have a, a multi-hit, whereas this one does, so this is the... Nice chunk of damage to her. Or not. Okay, will you stop magic me to death? Oh. Didn't that hit all three allies in the last battle? I'm almost positive it did. Let's see. Yeah, it hit all allies in the last battle. Now it only, now it only hits one. Looks like she got a downgrade. It's a shame the Ultimate War God doesn't apply to your Dragoon editions, because sometimes you hit the button right as it's supposed to be at the top, and it's like, yeah, no, you missed. You're too slow. You're too fast. You're too much of a pain in the ass to bother with actually uh, hitting. So, I mean, the timing on these things is just fickle sometimes. There we go. I got that perfect. It's like you almost got to hit it like before it hits the top of the, the little thingy for it to count as perfect. Alright, you're almost dead, chick, aren't you? You don't have too much life left in you. By the way, if you if you happen to be in Dragoon form, as you're about to strike the final blow to a boss, even if you do have SP left to stay in Dragoon form, you will revert back to human form to deliver the final blow. So, if you realize, hey, I have two bars left, and Dark Settlement went back to human form, then that means, hey, you beat the boss. I think I was out of SP right there anyway, so... so. Please don't kill me.
By the way, in case you are wondering what those uh, weapons she has are called, I do believe they're called uh, chakrams. Or chakrams, or. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but that's the general gist of what they are. And the moment you've all been waiting for, the moment I've been waiting for, she is no longer a dragoon. So it looks like the dragoon spirit needs to find a new host. And wouldn't you know it, there's only one person in our party who is currently not dragoonified. Gee, I wonder who's going to get the dragoon spirit. Ooh, we got them both on the same try. Very nice. That worked out pretty well, actually. Ooh, and that... This works out great, actually. Maru gets a new addition. Everyone else levels up. And, like I said before, Maru's about to get her Dragoon Spirit. Spoilers. So, this works out pretty well. Let's see, Congo, I'm not sure if you got your new uh, addition yet. What time do you get yours? No, he gets, he gets his at 23. Okay, but yeah. Maru gets a new addition. She's eventually she's gonna get her dragoon spirit pretty soon. That's actually pretty good timing since I was planning on putting Maru back in my party anyways. And yes, Maru is probably gonna be one of my final party members. I'm just not sure who the third one is yet. Why are you so surprised? Yes, sir. Yeah, we got the Blue Sea Dragoon Spirit. Very nice. Well, that's my goal. That's my plan. Eh, we'll tell him later. Ah, oh, we two hurry up and kiss and just get it over with. That way Maru stops dancing around and saying things about it behind our backs and gets left behind. Goodbye, Maru. You have fun back there. Alrighty. Well, that's pretty much uh, all we're going to do for this episode, since this has been a very long episode. So, Maru's got her Dragoon Spirit. We've all got some new additions. Uh we beat Linus, and uh, next time, I think we're going to meet back up in the, let's see, where do we got to go next? We got to go back to the uh, 